medical technologists have been trained on how to collect the samples also done in and doffing of the PPE and also how to collect store the sample package them and transport them to the national public health for testing of course it's just one set of medical technologists who are in the field collecting and then another set of medical technologists within the lab who will be testing the sample 32 medical technologists have been trained of the 55 who have volunteered to do this activity so this is the guideline that was developed for them to use in the community activities that they will be um, Basically, um, what we have here is our mobile testing units, which are now ready to be deployed uh, throughout Jamaica. One has already been deployed, and we're going to that location now at Corn Piece in Clarendon. And the buses have been fitted, equipped with the personal protective equipment, with the uh, devices to collect the samples, and as was said earlier, the medical technologists who will man the facility. Over 30 of them have been trained. Um, we have a few more to train. And so what we will now be able to do by doing this is expand the collection of samples across the country. There's a protocol that governs that. It allows anyone who is interested to, to offer themselves to be tested, but they have to be subjected to a particular protocol which will determine if they will be tested. But nevertheless, it will certainly widen the net and therefore allow us to get, a, 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 in terms of numbers, a better reflection as to what is happening in the country. I want to use the opportunity to thank the medical technologists, the 55 of them, who have volunteered to be a part of this new mission as we try to overcome the COVID risk that we face. And as is evident here, the government is doing what it can to expand the process in, in the protection of the Jamaican people. So thanks again.